Hi everyone. Let's solve this question. This is Go classes weekly quiz three discrete mathematics question. <clears throat> so, if f1, f2, f3 are propositional formula, or you can say propositional expression over some set of uh, propositional variables, such that f1 implies f2 implies f3 is contradiction, then which of the following is necessarily true? Okay. So the question is very simple. That f1, f2, f3 these are propositional formula. Okay. Over some set of propositional variables, so we don't know what set of propositional variable, but we know that f1, f2, f3, these are propositional formula. Okay, over some set of propositional variable, for example, maybe maybe okay, some set of propositional variable like p, q, r, s or something. Okay, so we don't know. Now, f1, f2, f3, these are propositional formula, and the question is saying that f1 implies f2 implies f3 this is a contradiction the question is saying that such that such that f1 implies f2 implies f3 this is a contradiction so this this is a contradiction means this is basically false 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 so whatever you take okay if you have for example if you have 10 propositional variable then there will be 2 power 10 rows correct so if you have four propositional variable then there will be 2 power 4 rows remember f1 f2 f3 these are propositional formula okay so they they are proposition formula over some proposition variables okay for example this is a proposition formula you can notice okay like p implies q this is a propositional formula so if i say that i can say that this is a proposition formula over these propositional variables okay similarly i can say p and q bar and r okay so so for example this is a propositional formula so i can say that f2 i can write and i can write here like this now you can notice f2 is a propositional formula on these three variables so this is a proposition formula this is a proposition formula on these three propositional variables so this is the idea that f1 f2 f3 these are propositional formula okay so they they might be proposition formula over some set of variables i don't know okay now this is the first row of truth table this is the second and so on now the question is saying that this is a tautology what it means it means that in 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 truth table for every combination in truth table for every combination this is false 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 okay now the question is what should what we can say about f1 f2 f3 one very interesting thing you can notice that you you automatic you already know that anything implies true anything implies true what is this anything implies true this is basically true anything implies true is basically true okay so here i cannot put f3 as true correct i can one thing i can say is f3 cannot be true f3 cannot be true f3 cannot be true because f3 is true if f3 is true then whatever you do here this will be true if f3 is true then this will be true so f3 cannot be true one thing i can say f3 cannot be true because if f3 is true then whatever you do here whatever you do here this will be true so f3 cannot be true so this is the final conclusion now next so definitely f3 cannot be true so it means f3 is a false 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 automatically i can say that f3 is a false 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 okay so remember i can say that f3 is definitely i can say f3 is false 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 so i can say f3 is necessary contradiction f3 is definitely a contradiction because remember you can notice here f3 is definitely a contradiction so the answer which of the following is necessarily true i can say f3 is definitely a contradiction now what about f1 f2 so f3 is definitely a contradiction now tell me what f1 f2 can be okay is it possible that f1 f2 are okay is it possible because this is f1 implies f2 so now remember this is false f3 is false then this must be false correct uh, sorry this must be true f1 implies f2 this must be true because remember i am saying that f3 is false this f3 this is false okay and the final result is also false it automatically means that it automatically means that this must be true so this f1 implies f2 this definitely must be true for any combination this must be true like okay anywhere f1 implies f2 must be true for any row whatever row you take in every row in every row in every row what should happen 
f1 implies f2 this must be true so one another thing i can say that f1 f2 okay f1 implies f2 that must be a tautology i can definitely say that f2 f f1 implies f2 must be tautology this must be tautology this is another thing i can say i can also say that f3 must be contradiction so these are the things we can say these are the things we can say okay so f1 implies f2 that must be a tautology because remember if f1 f2 if 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 that is false just think about it if this is false this is false then what it means then what it means it means f1 implies f2 so actually sorry uh, uh, if this is true this is false if this is true this is false then f1 implies f2 that will be that will be false false implies anything is true false implies anything is true so i can say that this cannot be possible okay so i can say this can this can never happen so f1 implies f2 that should definitely be a tautology f1 implies f2 this can never be this can never be false okay so this is the idea now what can you say about f1 f2 so f1 f2 they can be like this so from this i can say that f1 f2 what they can be so they can be like this it should not happen remember it should not happen this should not happen because if it will happen then definitely what will happen then f1 implies f2 is not a tautology then f1 implies f2 is not a tautology is not a tautology but we know that f1 implies f2 must be a tautology this must be a tautology so what i can say i can say that yes this is a possible this is a possible this is a possible this is a possible so these three are possible for any row these three are possible so i can say that i can say that finally i can say for any row for any row for any row okay this is possible f1 f2 this is definitely false possible f1 f2 one of them is possible i can say this is false this is true both are true or this is false this is false okay for any row any of them is possible so here what is the answer now the question is saying which of the following is necessarily true it is not possible that f1 is tautology and f2 is contingency it is not possible what about it is it possible tell me is it possible just think about it the option a option a is saying that it is not possible that f1 is tautology f1 is tautology f2 is a contingency it is not possible okay so let's see whether it is possible or not f1 f2 f1 is tautology f1 is tautology and f2 is a contingency and f2 is a contingency contingency means somewhere it should be true and somewhere it should be false correct correct contingency means somewhere it should be true sometimes somewhere it should be false now there is a problem what is the problem now there is a problem the problem is this now f1 implies f2 will be false now f1 implies f2 will be false here and because f1 implies f2 is false here so f1 implies f2 implies f3 remember in this row just look at this row okay just look at this row so you can notice that for this row f1 implies f2 is false and you know false implies anything f3 can be anything false implies anything is true but the question is saying that this is a contradiction the question is saying this is a contradiction so this cannot happen so option a means this can never happen we can say that is can this can never happen we can say this can never happen and this is what option a is saying option a is saying it is not possible so this is also correct it is not possible what about option b it is not possible that f1 is tautology f2 is contradiction this is all this is also correct it is also not possible it is also not possible so in the option b i can say in the option b what we can say option b so in the option b he is saying f1 tautology f2 contradiction f1 tautology and f2 contradiction so if this happens then what will happen then f1 implies f2 will become false 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 this will become contradiction and this is what i am telling you i am telling you that f1 implies f2 must be tautology okay but here because of option uh, if f1 is tautology f2 is contradiction if this happens 
then f1 implies f2 is a contradiction which is not correct so this can never happen this can never happen okay so option b means f1 topology f2 contradiction this can never happen and this is what option b is saying option b is saying that it is not possible that f1 is topology f2 is contradiction so this is correct the next is it is not possible that f1 is contingency f2 is a contradiction so let's check whether it is okay f1 contra f1 contingency so now another question is saying let's check whether it is possible or not let's check is it possible that f1 is contingency and f2 is contradiction is it possible let's check f1 f2 now the question is saying that f1 is contingency so somewhere it is it true and somewhere it is false okay so we don't know what are the propositional variables but i am saying that somewhere it is true okay so for some combination it is true for some combination it is false because f1 is contingency f2 is contradiction means it is always false it is always false now now what will happen now you can very easily see that f1 implies f2 that is here i can say f1 implies f2 for this combination f1 implies f2 will be false and I, but I told you that this should be tautology. This we have already seen that this should be tautology. Because if this is not tautology, if this is not tautology, then you can very easily notice that this will here, this will be true. So this will not be a contradiction. And but the question is saying that this is a contradiction. Okay. So I can say that this is also not possible. F1 contingency, F2 contradiction. F1 contingency, F2 contradiction. This is also not possible. So this is what option fourth is saying that it is not possible that f1 is contingency f2 is contradiction so this is correct okay so all the options are correct a b c d this is msq question and in this question option a b c d all of them are correct okay